Fear clauses are the subject of this video that goes with section 101 of Hanson and Quinn's Greek, an intensive course, and you can find that in Hanson and Quinn on pages 349 to 350. Fear clauses are kind of what they sound like. They're a clause that expresses something that you're afraid of. So usually we talk about being afraid of something that hasn't happened yet something that's subsequent to the main verb. The way we do a fear clause is to use a conjunction. In this case, it's may plus the subjunctive or the optative for the verb of the fear clause according to the sequence of moods. So you remember the sequence of moods. It tells you that if the tense of the verb of the main clause is present or future or perfect, you're in primary sequence and you'll use the subjunctive in your subordinate clause. And if you have imperfect, aorist, or pluperfect as the verb of the main clause, you'll use the optative as the verb of the dependent clause. So it's pretty easy to remember which ones are secondary because they're all the ones that have a past indicative augment. So, our rule for fear clauses is if it's something um, we're afraid of that hasn't happened yet, then we use may plus the subjunctive or optative according to the sequence of moods. The default translation is that she may verb or that she will verb. You'll also sometimes see the mm, perhaps less modern translation, lest she verb. I kind of like the word lest but it's pretty much out of fashion, so I won't use it for the rest of the video. The negative for a fear clause is ooh. So if you're afraid that something won't happen, you'll say may ooh and the subjunctive or the optative according to the sequence of moods. So here are a couple of examples. Phobumai me luce tus kakus. I am afraid that she may free the bad men. So we get fabumai, a verb of fearing, and it's not the only one, but it's the only one Hanson and Quinn gives you for now. Our conjunction may, luce in the subjunctive because we're in primary sequence, and tus kakus for the direct object. So I'm afraid that she may free the bad men, or we could say in modern idiom, I'm afraid that she will free the bad men. Another example? Ephobumen me lucee tus kakus. I was afraid that she might free the bad men, or lest she free the bad men, or I was afraid that she would free the bad men. So that's fear clauses with subsequent action. May plus the subjunctive or optative according to the sequence of moods. But we can also have fear clauses that express what we're afraid of that is happening now, that contemporaneous with, or at the same time as the main verb, or we can express fear about what happened prior, sometime before the main verb. For those kinds of fear clauses, we'll still use may as the conjunction, but we'll use the indicative for the verb of the fear clause. And your default translation will be that she verbs or that she verbed. And of course, you can have all the variety of voices, active, middle, and passive for those default translations. The negative is still ooh, so we can be afraid that she doesn't verb or that she didn't verb. And then the conjunction will be may and the negative will be ooh. A couple of examples then. Fobumai me lue tus kakus. So here we have lue in the present indicative active, and it means I am afraid that she is freeing the bad men. Efabumain me uk elusa tus kakus. I'm afraid that she didn't free the bad men. So really, that's just a couple of examples of fear clauses, which are really pretty simple to do. And all you have to remember 
is to look at whether the verb is subjunctive or optative, in which case it's expressing subsequent action, something you're afraid of that hasn't happened yet, or whether the verb is in the indicative, in which case it's contemporaneous, or it's about something that happened before the main verb. And that's what you need to know right now for fear clauses in 